Hi and welcome to a quick video tutorial uh, demonstrating the new lighting and shadowing feature we've just added to Arena 4D. So here we have a point cloud of around 500 million points and we've placed it uh, in the GIS view in Arena 4D um, which is a nice looking scene. However, the first thing you'll notice is we no longer have the light button on the toolbar at the top here. Instead now, to add lighting to Arena 4D, uh, you can right click and add, and in our data list here we now have a light object. Put a light in, we'll call it light, and now the lighting is working just as it used to uh, when we added a light to the scene previously using the toolbar at the top here. The difference is now the light, rather than being a, a property of the entire software, it's an object within the scene which gives us a lot more power to do some neat things with it. So the first thing I'm going to show you, the properties for the light, is I'm going to change its mode from normal to luminance. And this way we can see the effect the light is having on the scene. So surfaces pointed to directly towards the light, to, sorry, towards the camera, are nice and bright, and those facing away are darker, just as you expect it to do with a directional light coming from the viewer's position we switch it back to the normal mode you can see the effect of that merged together on the scene turn the light off and on there we go but what we can do now is add shadows if I come over here to this lamp post you can see the effect that's having here turn the light off turn it back on we get some nice shadow casting However, this is just working as if you were holding a torch. Um, and for most of your animations videos, that's not really the effect you're going to want to go for. So we've got another mode here, which we can switch between eye, sun and fixed. So I'm going to change it to fixed. And now the light is just like any other data object in Arena 4D. And we can move it around and position it. And I'm going to do just that and place it on the far side of this church steeple and position it to point at the church. Now, the other thing to remember about Arena 4D is it works on data sets that could be very small, millimeter size detail, or city size. So everything in Arena 4D is configurable, and much like the lighting system here, uh, the default here is a box by 10 by 10 by 10 meters, which would be fine for a smallish area but here we're working on quite a large area so I'm going to increase the range of effect to 100 meters the width to 100 and the height to 50 meters now we can see how that's having a real effect and casting the shadows into the scene from the buildings the trees hang that down a bit and from here we can start generating some really nice effects. The other mode is sun. So now the light is going to be going in the direction of the sunlight at that time of day. So if I pull up the system clock, tell it not to use the current date and time. This is at 8 o'clock in the morning. As I step through the day and back again, you can see how the sunlight is causing different shadows to be cast. Again, because this is Arena 4D, we can add all of this to an animation. So if I create a new animation, there's the first frame, and now I'm going to add a second frame, and I want this to be 10 seconds long, and the first frame, I'm going to want 8 o'clock in the morning, and the second one to be six o'clock in the evening. And now if I play my video over the next 10 seconds, the sun and the shadows being cast will change from eight in the morning till six in the evening. And again, because it's Arena 4D, I can add this light to the animation, change its position um, and create some really cool effects. Uh, Next, you can watch some of the videos we've generated showing this uh, lighting and shadowing effect off uh, and hope you enjoy this new update to Arena 4D. Thank you. Mm -hmm.